Yo, that is a sick 240p fire effect. If our world ceases to exist, then not only will those stories be silenced forever, but the Eraser Jin will then be unleashed into your world. How can the stories be silenced? Is there not more than one copy of the book? You know, what the hell is Sonic and Arabian Nights doing mixed together anyway? Sonic just got married, the ultimate trap. Sonic asks for a few handkerchiefs, gets a few thousand. Here we go! Whoa, fading into that book was some truly stunning animation. Oh God, this is an auto runner. What have I gotten myself into? Why does Sonic slow down when he does big jumps? And why do you push one when going next instead of two? That's just awkward when two is used to move forward through all the other menus. I can't believe I'm forced to tilt left and right to move. This is awful. And I thrust the remote forward to spin dash. Can't wait for this to not work in actual levels. The mission structure almost feels like I'm playing a large demo because the stages are so short. Backing up is the worst. You can't see where anything is from behind you and it's just, it's just bad. I mean, what is going on here? I did 11 small jumps and they only counted 10. Sag. Don't you know anything? I'm not a rat. I'm a hedgehog. Yeah, duh. With my speed, we'll just have to make sure we get to him first. Sonic, you're slow as ass in this game. Look, I enjoy the theme song and all, but did they really need to play it so often? You hear it after completing a mission. Starting the next mission. And even during the final boss. Seriously, you hear the beginning of this song hundreds of times, it's obnoxious! Gotta love how you can't strafe left or right when you're breaking. There's a cap to how many rings you can collect, for some reason. And also, you don't lose all your rings when you get hit by something. Okay, I know I brought this up already, but even the small jumps slow me down. This gives me no incentive to want to jump since I lose all of my momentum. It just feels bad. Watch out! The red spirits can... It's a dead end! The narrator didn't even bother finishing her sentence because those enemies really aren't dangerous. Such insolence! Guards, seize this blue spiky thing at once! Oh, really? You in what army? Why do I have to select the world every time I complete a mission? Don't get defeated. Hey, that's a good idea. <laughs> what the f Can Sonic not run up the hill? Why did I slow down to a literal crawl? Uh, why are these two missions not unlocked, but one down here is? Why can't I break the jar? Is it really that important? Also, I love how Sonic has just no reaction to slamming his entire body into a jar. He's like, yeah, whatever, glass, hot, lol, whatever. Sonic, can you, can you please stop running at the wall? What are you doing? Wait a minute, now you want me to break the jars? They're the exact same ones from before, what the frick? Collect 99 rings? Why not just get 100? Being forced to come to a complete stop just to kill an enemy that I mistimed has to be the worst flow in a video game I've seen in a very, very long time. Classic Sonic sound design where the music is too loud to hear the dialogue. Hello? I can't hear you! Hold on a second. I'm able to equip Quick Step, which makes my left and right movement smoother. Why are smooth controls not included from, uh, oh, I don't know, the very f***ing beginning? The game never tells you which missions give you the world rings. You just have to blindly guess and waste your time. I hope those guys don't stick their horns through me. I don't know why this whole scene is so funny to me. These catapults only work when they feel like it. <laughs> King Eggman shouldn't have survived that. Switching from 2D to 3D with these controls is super janky. It doesn't even make sense with the context of having two directional inputs. So there's a lot of logs that purposefully stop you so you won't run into enemies that you wouldn't be able to react to. This is a clear example of game design that wasn't a good idea. They created annoying workarounds so it's more playable. Maybe that's a clue that, hey, don't make your whole game motion controls. 
I guarantee that this cactus is gonna kill you the first time because you can't walk around it and that's what it looks like you gotta do. But no, instead you jump over it and when you jump, the game automatically does the turn for you because that just, that makes a lot of sense. Makes sense, ah, Oh, dude, I love how the screen has a seizure when you attack enemies. No adventure is fun if it's too easy, right? Although, it would have been nice if your magic did work. Well, that was rather savage of you. This pterosaur egg mission is genuinely obnoxious. You have to get eggs and match them up with their nests, but the nest locations are totally random. And if you die, the eggs and nests are randomized again. It's no use, Sonic. It's no use. Sonic gets time break? What? What's this? Shadow the Hedgehog? I just realized the genie looks exactly like Shantae. The hair, the ring bracelets, the outfit, the body type. If you don't fully land on the speed boost here, you're stuck for all of eternity. Climbing up these four towers to free Sinbad is a sin on its own. I've been playing this game for so long that I've realized that Sonic is best controlled when you come to a full stop and then plan out your jumps. This is one of the worst video games I've ever played. I'm incentivized to play an auto runner with as little running as possible. And you know what the worst part about this is? The locations and set design are incredible. They completely wasted the opportunity of a really interesting Sonic game with the motion controls. Hitting this one enemy. Also, Sonic's gonna fall down after this, so rip. It might even open the gates of hell! <gasps> Ooh, Sonic said the naughty word. There's something really comical about Sonic running through all this bullshit, and at the end of all this, all he's got is a thumbs up. Yeah, woo! Oh boy, do I have a word to say about Ifrit Golem. Fighting this guy is nothing short of absolute hell. You have to dash on three of his fingers and then bounce on a bunch of random barrels, which leads you to bopping his head. In order to activate his fingers, you'll need to run in front of him while a ton of explosive barrels and lasers are headed towards you. These barrels, by the way, are fast and deadly, and also happen to be right next to the fingers, which tend to be in your way all the time. If you don't hit all three fingers and leave by accident or by necessity, you're forced to do another lap around him, wasting time time and making it more likely to get hit by the barrels, which are totally random. On top of this, you're moving in four directions while in a 2D plane, which just makes no sense at all, and this is just the first phase of the fight. The second phase dips half the stage in lava and shoots even more barrels at you or fires fast-moving lasers. If you die at any point, the entire fight starts over. And guess what? This boss might have actually been kind of cool and fun if I wasn't forced to control everything with clunky, inconsistent mother motion controls! And then a Razor Jin is just as obnoxious to fight, but I, I don't have it in me to rant anymore, I'm just dead. It sure was convenient that some of the world ranks flew out of a Razor so Sonic could take him on. But don't worry guys, you can play the party games with a GameCube controller. But not the actual game, of course, I mean that doesn't make sense. <laughs> so many of these party games are just clones of Mario Party minigames. Like this one is basically just a bad version of Parasol Plummet. I like how every party game name has to shout a phrase. Roll it Heavy Ball is pretty awful, but then Seek Edge Race is more fun than the actual game. That's just sad. Honestly, I'd rather play Biggs Fishing from Sonic Adventure than whatever the hell this is. What's up, man? Hello! So I just finished Sonic in the Secret Rings. Oof. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna hit a workout and give my mind some peace. Noise. Oh, hey, could you grab me a bubbly while you're over there? <laughs> what? What? How, how are you doing that? Do what? Don't make it stop! Please! Please! Okay, jeez, I'll get it. Don't worry about it. Oh. How did you... How? How? What? What? It... Hell, Sonic. What the hell, Sonic? Pissing is not a mission. The no! 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 no, no, no. <sighs> okay, so I just never do anything ever again. <laughs> the theme song can't play if I don't do anything, right?
for the rest of my life till I'm dead? Right? Right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I could get used to this. This is... This is... Hey, Bethaniel. Uh, quick favor. Could you turn down the TV a little bit? Nathan's going a little crazy in there again. And, uh... Yeah. Uh... Okay. What?